Yes, you have a question? Yeah, I yeah, just uh, a two part question. Um, well, one point at a time. So, is, um, is there a difference between nation uh, requests for country requests versus the ICC request for information for investigation in the National Court? Court? Is, there, is, there, is there a difference or nuance or those all those requests are being the same? Or being the same? Is there a difference between country request and ITC request? ICC. ICC. <laughs> International Criminal Court. Criminal Court. Oh, well, in, in Canada, there's a, and in many of these, you know, uh, Occidental countries, uh, the mutual assistance um, law or uh, the treaties uh, cover both international organizations and foreign countries that are part of the treaty. So. Um, Quite frankly, the process is not really transparent. I, yeah, I can expose to it, but uh, it would have to go through the Attorney General or uh, the RCMP. So it, it, the way it would process would be different, but the way uh, the provider would have to respond to in, in my view, wouldn't be any different. <coughs> um, it, it, yeah, similarly, I mean, if you're uh, UK-based, um, you've got a cloud storage or your service provider and you're getting a, you know, a request uh, from uh, overseas, say the US, I mean, there are a number of provisions and again it will depend if it's criminal, civil, how it's um, gone through and you know, as a um, you know, service provider box you you'd obviously go through the procedure very carefully but I mean there's the um, con European uh, there's convention on um, Cybercrime. There's um, other. Um, um, there's a European evidence warrant, which is where you re recognise a warrant issued in another country. There's um, EU MLA, uh, EU US MLA agreement. There's various issues, and it's it's very hard to answer all, all the scenarios now. But um, if you are a service provider, you'd obviously want to make sure that there is a right authority because you don't want to disclose if you're European based uh, provider or, or you've got data from European subjects, you, you don't want to uh, disclose or transfer them uh, outside, especially outside the European Union, unless um, the uh, warrant has been issued correctly and your terms and conditions actually have ensured that you've got consent from your European um, data subjects. It's the same in Switzerland, so you're responsible to, if you give uh, or if you transfer the data outside of Switzerland, uh, we have the same rules as in the European community. There is a, um, a convention with the US. We have the safe harbor principles between Switzerland and the US. And so you need to ensure that for this data transfer, you're, you're not only able to do it, but you respect the rights of your customers. If you don't respect it in Switzerland, you will be before criminal court. It's not only a civil case, you know, if you transfer the data. So in my power of attorney, I have written that to all my customers. I'm not able to guarantee that the data of my customers are not sent to other countries. If they want me to guarantee it, they should ask me, and I should, in these cases, uh, make special... Um, a special fee. Yes, <laughs> a special fee, perhaps, if you want. But it's a special measures. We, we only work on computers that are not linked with the internet. So, in, and this power of attorney was a surprise for a lot of my colleagues, but now they are all working like this. Because you cannot guarantee. It's not possible. You, you're a liar if you say to your customers you can give a guarantee. It's impossible. And so, you should be really careful when you send these data. Because in the end, if something happens, you are responsible. About outsourcing, it's the same rules for us. If you decide to work with uh, the cloud of Google, of, of Box, of uh, anybody, and something ha happens, you are only responsible. <coughs> um, from the point of view of your question, <coughs> there is a procedural difference in that any uh, order would have to go through the Ministry of Justice and then the Ministry would then uh, 
well, review it and see if it's according to the cooperation rule and so on and so forth, and then eventually turn it to the competent, the local competent court in order to, to go on with the procedure. So is, there is an, an initial phase where the, uh, the, 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 the things you have to do are a, a sort of difference, but these are the things which are mandated by the international cooperation uh, treaties, and then it follows the, the same procedure and, uh, and, and stuff. Uh, I would have to look if there is a possibility to appeal such uh, an order. I would doubt that that would be possible since it's an order that's coming from a different jurisdiction. Uh, that's, I think it's one of the major uh, differences in, 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 uh, in, in Italy. 